The story of, uh, of the Delmonico steak for me goes back to uh, childhood years. I remember one day a gentleman coming into to the butcher shop to order steaks and being over the counter and he asked the butcher for a Delmonico steak. The customer must have asked him for a kind of rib steak and, and he kind of leaned over the counter and was like, let me, let me tell you what the real Delmonico steak is. He proceeded to tell him this story going back to when he was a butcher at the Waldorf Astoria in New York City. And uh, the Waldorf was very famous for doing all their own in-house butchery. Whenever the Prince of Monaco was going to be visiting New York City, that he would stay at the Waldorf Astoria, that there was a very specific steak that he wanted to have. What the Prince wanted was a very special cut, that there are only two of them on the whole carcass, and that was actually the first solid bone from the short loin, that the short loin complex has one full solid bone rib on it. And that was the specific steak that the Prince of Monaco liked. In common speak, that became, that got changed into Del Monaco or the Prince de Monaco, or if they were talking in Italian, the Monaco steak. It made sense to me that if I was the Prince of Monaco and I was coming into New York City, I'd want to have a steak that nobody else could have. He liked a very high quality, very well marbled steak, but he didn't actually want, sometimes there's a big pocket of fat or, or extra marbling on the steak. He wanted a very consistent steak of high quality. And that's why it had to be this one. And for me, over the decades since I first heard that story, uh, and I've heard countless other versions of it. It's really the only one that stuck to me as true because it made sense. It was a steak. It was a story of a high quality steak of a large format steak and something very unique and very special. And in all, in all my years in cutting steaks since then, I personally fell in love with that story. It's the story that I know to be true. And still to this day, it's the one that I tell. If you were to come and ask me to cut you a Delmonico steak, I would tell you, I'm going to cut you a true Delmonico steak and this would be the steak that I would cut for you.